This one could be probably 100 years plus old at least. It's been here for a long time. Let's look at those branches. And it's certainly had a lot of leopard activity up and all around those branches in the last day and a half. Mostly skin, but it's quite a bit of skin left. Enough to maybe keep them busy. Oh, she's going to jump to that next branch. Well, maybe not. <laughs> she's giving us the same as some of those elephants earlier. Of course, leopards have got very long tails, also quite heavy tails, quite muscular. Plays a very important role for them when they're climbing. Makes balancing so much better and so much easier. As you might have seen before, these cats are incredibly agile up in the branches. Very, very quick. They can even hunt up in the branches. I've seen some amazing footage. I'm sure many of you have seen it where leopards are hunting squirrels up in trees and being quick enough to still catch them. Phenomenal animals, really. Their ability to move. sort of hoping this leopard might jump for the other branch but it seems it's happy just to feed on the other side I think let's take a very slow drive around to that, that side as well Some questions coming through, and uh, like the trend of them as well. Very to do with what we're looking at at the moment. Pauline's just asking how long before these cats need to get some more food or before they need to, to hunt again. Now, the opportunity arises tonight or tomorrow morning, but they could very easily go for five, six, seven days now without eating. If you look at that belly, it's not full. They've had long enough time over the last day now to really pull themselves up with the meat first and now they can even have time to eat the skin in pieces so yeah comfortably a week longer if need be most likely they'll catch if catch something again within the next four to six days if that uh, breaks it down of course sometimes they catch smaller things especially these two youngsters they now they're more independent they have been doing so already. they've had quite a few kills themselves Not really much of a worry they'll do fine also means they might catch small things, cracklins or bobs. Over time, get better and better at hunting. Bigger things. In parlor, I mean, in terms of leopard species or leopard prey species. Yeah, look at how she's biting into that. Amazing view. In terms of leopard prey species, female leopard because the males. Impala would be an average large prey for them, all the way down to smaller things, scrub hairs and so on. Males can go a bit bigger. They can go for young kudu, some of the sort of young and teenager size, larger antelope as well. Females also, they just, it's this weight ratio. A big male leopard will weigh up to just twice as a female leopard.
another interesting one. Penny letting us know that uh, uh, during the building, I presume soon after the building of Kariba Dam, in uh, sort of the northern part of Zimbabwe, there was a leopard that got stranded or marooned, stranded on, a, on an island. I know there's a few stories like that, a few very interesting stories surrounding similar scenarios. This leopard taught itself to fish. I've certainly heard of that, um, Penny. I'm not quite sure if I've heard of the part uh, where it used its tail or how it used its tail. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if that was possible. White tail tip like that somewhere in the water could certainly attract a bit of fish attention, I think. But I haven't heard of that specific detail, pun intended, I guess. But uh, I've certainly heard of them being able to fish a while back. I know Graham told me about it in the south. Someone was for that swim underwater to peer under the water and come up fish so it was was literally fishing like a, a seal if you want oh. what a view Magic. Moving around, always beautiful to see them moving. I wonder if she's going to go down, maybe. Question from Dawn, just asking why Karula would share this kill with the youngsters. Uh, Dawn, it's, a, it's an interesting question. Um, maybe just uh, enough kill. Maybe a bit of motherly concern. Look at this. Oh, amazing. Well followed. Gorgeous. Behind as well. Oh, she's going for something private. It's always very private about this. Let's have a quick look at Saseka. Here's the other one relaxed at the base of a silver cluster leaf. Look at this, what's going to happen? Is she going to go up? Big yawn, oh! They are just so pretty. Taking turns here to feed, I think. Strong smell coming there, the wind. Oh, she's going to climb up behind the tree. Oh, look at this, look at this! Oh! Yes, they are just... <laughs> They make it look so easy. I wish I could climb a tree like that. Guys, isn't this just amazing? Sharing it. Now again, coming back to those questions. Yeah, I mean, a variety of questions sort of dealing with these leopards' behavior at the moment. So notice that they're not on that carcass together. There'll be a little bit of tension and stress between them. They're opting for taking shares, if you want, or taking... Uh, the right word? I'm stuck there suddenly. But taking turns. That's it. Quite easily, I think you can see this leopard is quite a bit darker. The rosettes are just a bit richer, colors a bit strong almost. 